Hey guys and welcome. Let's see where this flow takes us today. Let's go ahead and face the front of our mat. Spine is long. Hands go behind the hamstring. Inhale to a long spine. Grow the crown long as you exhale. Start to engage the core and roll down one vertebrae at a time until the neck is the last thing to come onto the mat. Exhale, release the shoulder blades on your next inhale. Bring the right toes towards the sky. Flex the foot toes facing towards the shin grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings and as you exhale draw the quad towards the chest and just stay here for a few rounds of breath starting to deepen those inhales and exhales on your next exhale slowly release the hand keep the foot lifted towards the sky this time cross the outside of the left ankle across that right quad coming into a lying pigeon left hand goes around the space you just created right hand goes on the outside to interlace the fingers and draw that quad in with every inhale press that left inner thigh open by using the elbow then as you exhale draw the quad in so on the inhale you're really going to feel that hip open up and on the exhale you really feel it in that right hamstring keep the toes flexed and engaged and start to deepen that exhale. You deepen the exhale, the inhale will just kind of come naturally. Do this a few more times. On your next exhale, release the fingers, release that left foot, release the right foot. Draw the right sole of the foot towards the sky, right hand to the outside of the right foot, elbow to the inside of the right. Inhale, press the hip open with that elbow. Exhale, draw it down, little happy baby, half happy baby. So inhale, hip open, press the elbow against the right leg. Exhale, draw the knee down. Do that a few more times, making some space and room in those hips. On your next exhale, slowly release the right sole of the foot to the ground. Inhale, left sole of the foot to the sky. Grab a hold of the backs of the hamstring with every exhale. Draw the quad in. With your inhales, kick the foot up, flex the foot even deeper. Exhale, draw it in. While we do this, let's set our intention for it to class. And while we do this, let's set our intention for this class, which will be to just listen to our bodies, listen to the signals that it gives you throughout the whole class. And it can be as simple as this pose feels good. This pose doesn't feel good. Well, if the pose feels good, maybe hit pause, stay in it longer. Do what your body is craving. If it doesn't feel good, back off by all means. Come to child's pose or find a pose that you like better. This is your practice. You control it. Listen to your body. Slowly release the hands. This time, cross the right ankle across the left quad. Right hand goes in between the space you just created to grab a hold of the back of the hamstring. Left hand wraps around to grab it as well. Inhale. Just gently open that right hip with the right elbow. As you exhale, draw the quad in. Keep the feet nice and engaged. If you're really tight in those hamstrings and hips, you may even experience a little shake. We want to be in this pose for at least 30 seconds to start to feel the muscles kind of settle. So inhale, draw that right hip open by pressing it open gently with the right elbow. Exhale, draw that left quad in. You may even feel something good along that low back. Notice where you feel it in this pose and try to pay a little bit more attention to that area today. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands, release the left foot, release the right foot. And then draw the left foot back towards the sky again, bending the left knee. Take that left hand, grab the outside of the left foot, 
elbow onto the inside of the left leg. Inhale, draw that hip open with the left elbow. Exhale, draw it down. So think pushing open to the left. As you inhale, as you exhale, draw it down. You can have this right leg swing off to the side, opening that right hip, or you can have it knee straight up to the sky, or you can have it long, whatever you prefer. One more deep inhale like this, and then as you exhale, take that right foot into the right hand, same thing, this time just adding in both legs for that full happy baby. Inhale, drawing both hip open with those elbows, exhaling it, drawing it down. Then once you find a good space, hold on there, then give yourself that gentle sway, maybe even rocking side to side, massaging out that spine. Bring it to a stop, release those feet, grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings and give yourself a few rolls up, massaging that spine even more. I highly suggest a nice padded mat for this one. This time go a little bit farther towards the crown, feeling it along the upper back. And let's do that one more time because it feels so good. And bring it up, swing the legs behind you. Meet me in a tabletop position. As you inhale, draw the belly down, lift the gaze, tailbone curls up, press through those palms. As you exhale, stretch around the spine, deep belly draws in, tailbone goes down, gaze goes down. Inhale it up. And then exhale it down. So we're just flipping the position of the spine. Drawing the belly down as we inhale, tailbone curls up, gaze goes up, and then drawing it down. So think about a smiley face when we release that belly down. The tail ends go up, and then as we exhale, we're making it into a little frown. Cheesy, I know, just stay with me, guys. Let's do this a few more times. Maybe even bringing that gaze up to the sky if it feels good to you. Last time, then meet me in a neutral tabletop position. Curl the toes under, bring the hands about six inches forward, press through the backs of the palms, use the core to lift the knees, keep the bend in the knees, and then shoot that tailbone up and back for bent-legged downward facing dog. Press that mat away with the hands, drive that chest towards the quads, opening up the back. Then release the right heel, left heel, and left knee stays bent. And if at any point you come to this practice and you want to stay there longer, by all means do it. And let's switch sides. Left heel goes down, right heel goes up. And let's just speed that up, pedaling out the heels, tapping it one at a time, bending heavily through one knee, and straightening the other. Inhale, both knees bent, heels lift off the ground. As you exhale, extend the legs long. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, heels up, bend the knees. Exhale, release those heels, legs long, drive the quads towards the chest, chest towards the quads. Inhale, bend the knees, heels go up. Exhale, tailbone goes up, release the heels. Inhale, heels up. Exhale it down. Once more, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, release it down. Try to get the heels a little closer this time to the earth. Maybe even swaying the weight in the hand side to side, shifting it to the right hand, then to the left, and doing the same with the feet. Hold the weight center. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, and walk it up step by step until those toes go right in front of the hands. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's hold this forward fold, bring the heels and toes out, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand and sway side to side for a little ragdoll pose, shifting the weight to the left foot, 
and then to the right and while doing that releasing tension all the way from the sacrum to the crown now keep that swaying left to right this time bring the weight into the ball mounts of the feet shift the weight to the middle of the feet and then shift the weight to the heels Shift the weight back to the middle of the feet, back to the ball mounts, back to the middle of the foot, and then let's keep the weight towards the heels. Bring the swing to a stop, release the hands, inhale to a flat back. Exhale forward fold, let that head hang even heavier, bend the knees, let's root to rise, press through those heels, start to straighten the legs, arms reach overhead, little back bend. As you exhale, swan dive forward, lead with the chest, shoulder blades draw together, hinging from the hips, keep hinging and then let that head hang heavy again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, head hangs even heavier. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into a plank. Deep belly draws in, shoulders over the wrists. Heels reach long, crown reaches forward. And let's flow. As you inhale, draw the crown forward towards the top of the mat, coming onto the tippy toes. As you exhale, draw it down, chaturanga. Elbows stay hugged in towards the sides of the bodies. Guys, if you need an option, release the knees down. If not, let's stay lifted. Inhale to a baby cobra, press the tops of the feet onto the mat. As you exhale, curl the toes, lift those hips up and back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, bend the left knee and straighten the right, reaching the right heel a little closer towards the earth. And switch sides, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Inhale, both heels lift, bend the knees. As you exhale, reach those heels down. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and give yourself that little gentle sway. This time, keeping the toes forward. And while you're swaying side to side, releasing any tension all the way from the sacrum to the crown, let's play with the weight in our foot. Right now, it's kind of equal distance, pressing through all four corners. Let's play around with it. Shift all the weight towards the ball mounts. See how the body feels there. Shift the weight towards the middle of the foot. And then shift the weight towards the heels. Shift it back to the middle, and then back to the ball mounts. And then go back to wherever you prefer the weight being. I prefer it being towards the ball mounts. I feel more of something great and yummy right through the backs of my legs, but you may feel something different. Every, everyone is different and every body's body is different. So pay attention to it today and do what you like. Bring the swing to a stop. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale forward fold. Bend the knees. Root to rise. Reverse swan dive it up. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms overhead. Look up at the thumbs. Little back bend. Hips forward as you exhale. Hips go back. Start to hinge. Shoulder blades draw together. Forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Inhale flat back. Exhale, head hangs even heavier. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into a plank. Deep bellies engaged. Inhale, crown forward. As you exhale, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Chaturanga option, release the knees. Inhale this time to a full up dog if it feels good to you. If not, come back to that baby cobra. As you exhale, curl the toes and lift those hips up and back, reaching both heels towards the mat. As you inhale, bend the left knee, start to straighten the right leg, reaching that right heel towards the earth. And then switch sides, bending the right, releasing that left heel, pressing through both hands equally. This time, inhale, both heels lift off, hips go down. As you exhale, hips go up, heels go down. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. 
grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and start to sway left and right, this time bringing the feet a little closer together. So I have about eight inches in between both of my feet, feet in a nice parallel line, toes face forward. And then just go back to the position of the weight where you like it most. Is it in the heels? Is it in the middle? Is it through all four corners? Or is it through the ball mounts? I almost prefer the ball mounts. Gives me nice something along those calves. I like it. Try it out. Bring that swing to a stop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let that head hang heavier. Bend the knees, press through the heels to rise. Reverse, one dive it up. Little back bend by looking up. As you exhale, hinge from the hips. Lead with the chest, then forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let that head hang heavy. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into a plank. We're doing this one more time. Inhale, crown forward. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, as you inhale to that up dog, press through the tops of the feet and find space under the quads if you can. Look forward. As you exhale, curl the toes, lift those hips up and back, pressing through those hands to reach the chest a little closer towards those quads. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mats. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand one more time. Bring the swing to a stop. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, swan dive it up. This time as you exhale, sink those hips, come into that chair pose. Weight in the heels, chest is lifted. Think of one nice long line from the hips to the crown. So we're not pointed here. We want the chest lifted towards the front of your room. Arms reach over head, shoulders away from the ear, sink it low, weight in the heels. Can you go one inch lower? Breathe. Start to shift the weight over to that left foot as you inhale, as you exhale, step the right leg behind, coming into a high lunge. Shimmy that right leg down, release it down even lower. Think about driving the left hip back, right hip forward, then re-release. Pressing the right heel towards the back of the room. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, spin the heart towards the right side of the room. Right heel goes down, align the front heel with the back instep and meet me in warrior two. Left hand goes to the front, right hand goes to the back, shoulders away from the ear. Press the outside of this left leg towards the back of the room. That'll open that hip, then sink it a little bit. Ooh, deeper, feels good. My body likes it, it's our intention. Do what your body wants. One more deep breath. Inhale here. As you exhale, send that left hand up and back. Reverse warrior. As you inhale, straighten that left leg, reach that left hand a little bit deeper. As you exhale, use the left oblique to start to lift. Release that left hand down that left leg. Right arm goes up, triangle pose. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend that left knee, reach the right hand across towards the front of the room, right bicep over the right ear. Press against the left inner thigh with that elbow, left hand coming to a mat or block. Option or modification, find that block and just come up a little bit higher. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, keep the bend in the leg, release this right hand down. Start to send those hips over to the left, coming onto the right heel, right toes facing towards the body. Now coming into Skandasana, take that left hand, bring it up and over towards the left side of the mat, gently pressing this left hip open. You can stay right here, or you can start to spin the heart towards the right side of the room, opening up that chest, drawing the shoulder blades together. 
One inhale, then as you exhale, release the right hand down, start to walk it over, taking it to the other side, bending the right knee, left toes point towards the chest, the right hand goes up and over, opening that inner thigh and hip, left hand spins it open. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, switch sides, bring it across, reach it open. Exhale, release, last time. Draw it open with that right elbow and spin the heart. On your next exhale, release the left hand, spin it over towards the back of the mat or once was your back of the mat. Frame the foot with both hands, press through the palms, take that right leg back into a plank. Let's flow. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse swan dive it up. As you exhale, sink the hips, come into chair pose. Chest is lifted, weight in the back of the heels, a few rounds of breath here. One more deep breath. Start to shift the weight over to the right foot. As you exhale, extend the left leg back and reach high, then sink it low. If you do not feel it along that left hip, start to take the right hip back, left hip forward. You may come out of it, then start to re-sink it. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, spin the heart towards the left side of the room. Release the left heel. Hands go forward and back, warrior two. Front heel in line with that back end step. Shoulders away from the ear. And just look over that ring finger and middle finger. Keep pressing the back of this right leg towards the back of the room, getting the benefits of that deep hip opening. As you inhale, reach it forward. As you exhale, flip the palms, send it up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten that right leg. As you exhale, reach a little deeper. As you inhale, lift from that right oblique, cartwheel the arms, right hand goes down, left arm goes up and just reach that right arm as low as your body feels like it wants to go. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, bend the right knee, right hand finds the block or the mat as the left arm reaches towards the back side of your mat. Left tricep over that left ear. Keep pressing against that right inner thigh with that right elbow opening up that hip, then bend it deeper. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, release the left hand down, spin the left, Toes towards the body. Coming into Skandasana, take the right hand, reach up and over towards the right side of your mat. If you want a little bit deeper, spin the heart open towards the left, opening up that chest. Inhale as you exhale, release the left hand down. Guide yourself over to the other side, bending the left knee. Right toes flex towards the body, pressing against gently with that elbow. Let's release, take it to the other side again. Reach up and over, exhale, twist. Slowly release, last time. Take that right hand down, spin towards your true front side of the mat. Frame the foot with both hands, step the left leg back, let's flow. Inhale, crown forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to that up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the left knee, reach that right heel towards the mat. And then just switch, bending the right knee, releasing that left heel. Can you get it any closer to the mat than when you started? How does it feel? Inhale, release both heels up, bend the knees deeply. Hips go down slightly as you exhale, hips go up, heels go down. Draw the chest towards the quads. 
Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees as you exhale. Float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand again, coming into this ragdoll pose. And do whatever you want with the feet. Toes can face forward. They can have a slight turnout. Weight can go anywhere on those feet. Find what works for you. We played around with it. Now it's up to you to, to, to decide what your body likes. You can even give yourself those yeses and noes with that head if you feel any tension along the neck. Bring all swing to a stop. Release the hands in front of the face. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, root to rise, reverse swan. Dive it up. As you exhale, sink it back to your pose. Sink it one inch deeper. You're only here for a few more seconds. Start to shift the weight over to the left foot. As you exhale, right leg goes long. You're gonna lunge, inhale. As you exhale, release the right heel down, come into warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. As you exhale, flip the palm, reach it up and back. Inhale, straighten that left leg. As you exhale, reach just a little deeper. Start to draw those obliques up using the left obliques. Left hand comes down, right arm goes up, triangle. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend the left knee. Right arm reaches overhead. Inhale, right arm up. As you exhale, flip the palm. Grab a hold of that back hip crease and draw that right shoulder just a little bit more open. Keep pressing through that left inner thigh. As you exhale, release the bind, bring the right hand right in front of the left. Start to deepen the bend in the left knee and spinning the right toes towards the body coming into Skandasana. You may be up here, you may be down here. Find what works for you. Inhale, reach that left hand over. As you exhale, spin it open. Inhale to the side, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, draw it over, press as you exhale, reach. Inhale, draw it over, press it open as you exhale, spin the heart open. Release that left hand down, spin the heart towards the back of the mat, frame that foot with both hands. Let's flow, inhale, crown forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, head hangs even heavier. Bend the knees, root through those heels and rise it up. A little back bend by looking up. As you exhale, sink those hips to your pose. Weight is in the back of the heels, chest stays lifted. Shift the weight over to the right foot. On your next exhale, step that left leg back. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward, sink it just a little bit deeper. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, spin the heart towards the, the front of the room, left side of the room, hands go forward and back. Warrior two, release the shoulders. Inhale, reach that arm forward. As you exhale, flip the palm, send it up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, reach just a little deeper. On your next inhale, use that right oblique to start the movement, lifting, cartwheeling the arms till the right hand finds the right leg. Then slowly slide it down. Left hand goes up, triangle pose. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend the right knee, find a block or the mat. Left hand reaches towards your once back of the room. Left tricep over that left ear. Inhale it towards the sky. Exhale, flip the palm. Grab a hold of that right hip crease and draw that left shoulder blade back. You can look up or you can look down. Find what works for you. Mm -hmm. 
reach the left hand back up before releasing it right in front of that right hand. Spin the toes towards the body, coming into Skandasana, right hand reaches out and over. Exhale, spin the left hand up. Inhale, left hand down, walk it over, reach the left hand out. Exhale, right hand up. Inhale, release. As you exhale, draw that hip open. Exhale, release, keeping the right heel down if you can. Release it down, inhale, walk it over. Reach it open, exhale, spin. Release the right hand, turn towards the front of your mat, frame that foot with both hands and step it back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, bend the left knee, reach the right heel towards the mat. And then reverse, bending the right knee, left heel reaching, maybe the closest it's gotten all day. Inhale, both knees, heels up. Sink the hips a little. As you exhale, reach the hips up, release the heels down. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat, grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and sway side to side. Bring the swing to a stop, release the fingers in front of the eyes, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, lawn dive it up. As you exhale, sink those hips, chair pose, weight in the back of the heels. Shift the weight over to the left foot as you exhale, right leg goes back. Inhale, both legs long as you exhale, hinge for the hip, hinge from the hips, reach forward, release that right heel down. As you exhale, send it all the way down. So pretend like the feet are on a balance beam. They don't have to be in perfect alignment, but they're not mat width. If you need an option or a modification, step that right foot in a little closer, and then you just may be up here with some blocks instead of down here. Make sure you never go past your limit, know your limit, and then don't exceed it. Unless you feel like it. So whenever we're in a lunge position, we have one leg forward, even though our knees aren't bent, Keep driving the left hip back, right hip forward. Almost like you're twisting the belly towards the left side of the mat. Ooh, feel it just a little differently. Start to engage the core, draw the hands off of the mat. Reach it forward, reach, reach, reach. Reach it up towards the sky. As you exhale, turn the belly towards the right side of the room, come into warrior two. You may need to adjust the position of the feet, front heel with the back instep. Exhale, release it a little deeper. Inhale, reach forward, flip the palm. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, reach just a little bit more. Inhale, lift from the left oblique, slide it down into triangle. On your next exhale, Bend the left knee, hand goes towards the front of the mat for extended side angle. Inhale, right arm up, flip the palm as you exhale. You can take it to that hip crease or take it to that full bind. Press against that inner thigh by opening up that hip. Reach around that left hand, maybe grabbing a hold of that right finger. Only if you have that right finger, start to draw the chest open by drawing the right shoulder blade back. So if you have a hold of the hands and you're down here, release the hands, release this left hand down and work on opening that chest. Everyone release that bind, left hand goes down. Everyone release that right hand towards the sky and release the right hand down, start to Bend the toes towards the sky. Coming into Skandasana, left hand reaches out, right hand spins it open. And release it down. We're coming to the side only once. Right hand reaches out, left hand spins it open. On your next exhale, release the left hand down, spin towards the back of your mat. Right foot is forward, frame the foot with both hands, step the right leg back, you're in a plank. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, swan, dive it up. A little back bend by looking up at the hands. As you exhale, sink those hips to your pose. Shift the weight over to the right foot. As you exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, both legs straight. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, reach towards the back of the room. And then as you exhale, slowly and steadily bring it down, reaching the left heel towards that mat. This is, can be a pretty intense stretch along that right side. If it's too much, just step that left foot in. Maybe bringing the left heel down, but the left heel does not have to be on the mat. So if you're back here and you like it, stay right there. Again, if the hips are swaying off to the right, think about drawing the right hip back, left hip forward, maybe even spinning the belly button towards the right side of the room. Everybody on your next inhale, use the core to float the hands, reach it forward, reach, reach, reach. Reach it all the way to the top. As you exhale, bend the right knee, left heel spins towards the ground, warrior two. Inhale, reach that right hand forward, flip the palm. As you exhale, extend it up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten the right leg. As you exhale, side bend a little deeper. Inhale, lift from the right obliques. Right hand goes down, left hand spins up. And then slowly release that right knee, bend it. Left hand reaches up and over towards the back of the room. Inhale that left hand high, flip the palm, grab a hold of that right hip crease now. If you'd like to take it one step farther, float the right hand off, go underneath that hamstring to maybe clasp the hands behind. If you have those hands, work on opening that left shoulder, looking up or down to feel the left shoulder go back. If you're unable to do that, then release the right hand, come to that half bind and work on opening that shoulder. Keep the breath steady. Keep the mind steady. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, everyone releases that right hand. Everyone releases the left hand. As you exhale, release the left hand down. Spin the left heel, toes facing the body now. Right hand reaches up and over, the left hand spins it. Release it down. Let's walk over to the front of our mat. Reach it out. Exhale, spin it open. Exhale, release it down. Frame the foot with both hands. Spin the left foot forward. Press through the right heel and slowly reach the right heel towards the back of the room. Keeping the hips square to the ground. Reach the right heel one inch higher. As you inhale, bend the left knee. Tap the inside of the left ankle to the back of the left ankle. Right ankle to the left ankle. Exhale, reach it up. Inhale, bend and tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap the inside of the right ankle to the back of the left. Exhale, lift and hold. Square off the hips. Your right leg may come down. Square it off and then lift a little bit more. This time, inhale it down. Draw the right knee to the inside of that left calf. Shift the weight over to the left hand. Grab a hold at the front of the right ankle. Draw that right heel towards that right glute and then start to straighten that leg. Lifting the right knee up just a little bit more. Reaching the right knee maybe towards the sky. Opening that hip up now. As you exhale, release that right foot. Right hand comes back down. Step that right leg back. Hands go to the inside of that left foot. Heel to that left foot over to the mat distance. Release the right knee and right top of foot coming into lizard. So the left sole of the foot can stay onto the ground or if you'd like, you can spin and roll it over. Whichever way you are, start to walk both hands over towards the left side of the mat. 
looking over that shoulder towards the right toes. Slowly unwind, release the left sole of the foot down. Curl the right toe under, lift the right knee, and step that left leg back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Start to shift the weight over to that right foot. Extend the left leg long behind you. Flex that foot. Keep the hip square and then rise it. Coming right back to where we were. Little standing splits. As you inhale, bend the right knee. Tap the inside of that left foot or left ankle to the back of the right ankle. Inhale, lift and square. Kick. Exhale, tap. Inhale, kick. Exhale, tap one more time. Inhale, kick. This time, exhale, draw the knee in towards the chest. Grab a hold of the front of the left ankle. Shift the weight over to the right hand. Before you straighten that right leg, draw the left heel towards that glute, raising the left knee almost parallel to the ground. When you're ready, start to straighten that right leg. Keep pressing through that heel, lifting off, firming the core. When you find that balance, find that steadiness, draw that left knee off. Feeling a nice expansion along that left quad. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, release that left foot. Bend the right knee, step that left leg back. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot. Heel to that right foot over, mat distance. Release the left knee, left top of foot. Right sole of the foot can stay onto the mat or you can slowly roll it over. Find what works for you. And start to walk the hands over towards that right foot. Left hand coming just shy of touching that right foot. And then start to spin the belly. Take the gaze over to the right knee and over that right shoulder towards those left toes. Slowing down the breath, finding what feels good in our bodies. What is your body telling you to do? Listen to it. Slowly unwind, release the right sole of the foot down. Hands come to the inside of the right foot and just slide that right leg back. We're gonna come into a nice seated position. One of my favorites for opening those hips. Take that right hand, grab a hold of the left ankle. Draw the left ankle towards that right glute. Grab a hold of the right ankle with the left hand and then draw that ankle towards the outside of that left hip or left glute. So your goal is really to try to stack the knees on top of one another. My body can't do that, so we're just gonna work with it. Try to remove that excess fat from underneath the glutes by just wiggling side to side. I don't know how eloquent, I can't put things eloquently sometimes to deal with it. Right knee is on top of the left. Inhale, right arm reaches up, bend the right elbow, reach the left hand over top to grab a hold of that right tricep. Inhale, look long. As you exhale, take a side bend up and over to the left. Inhale at center. Let's switch sides. Reach both arms long. Exhale, bend the left elbow. Grab a hold of that left tricep. Take a side bend up and over towards the right. Inhale at center, arms reach forward. As you exhale, start to hinge from the hips, hinge from the hips. Release the hands down to the mat or to a block. Start to let that chest melt towards that right knee. Go into this pose very slowly. And when you find something magical in that right hip, Hold it. Mm -hmm. 
rubbery through it. If it's painful, come out of it always. But if it's like a nice opening, hurts so good kind of way, hang out in it. Start to deepen that exhale a little bit more and that inhale will start to come naturally. When you're ready, slowly rise out of it. One vertebrae at a time till the crown is lifted. Straight ahead. And let's just switch sides. Oh, very slowly release that right leg down. Take the left hand underneath to grab a hold of that right ankle. Draw the right ankle in towards the left glute. Grab a hold of the left ankle with the right hand. Draw it towards the outside of that right leg. Coming into cow face legs. Trying, trying, keyword trying, to get the knees stacked over one another. It's not happening for me. My left hip is a little off the mat. I don't really mind it that much. I'm gonna play around with it. You may see me teeter-totter. My, I'm really tight in my hips, so let's play around with it. If your hip is hiked too, let's see how it feels. So inhale, arms long. As you exhale, bend the left elbow, grab a hold of that left tricep with the right arm. Take a side bend up and over to the right very gently, not tipping over, engaging that core. Inhale, arms long, bend the right elbow, grab a hold of the right tricep with the left. Now we can take a little deeper side bend off and over to the left and my left hip just touched ground. Inhale, arms long. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, reach, reach, reach forward. Release the hands down to the mat, start to round through the spine, releasing the chest a little closer towards the legs. And find something comfortable for you. So my left hip is off the mat right now, and it feels good. I'm feeling a nice stretch, but now I'm just going to release it back down towards the mat. I'm coming out a little, my back is lifted up. Releasing that left hip down, now taking it back down. I know that's the correct way, supposedly, but I like my left hip lifted. I feel it a little bit more there. I'm gonna go it, I'm gonna do it. Do what your body tells you to. I feel it a little bit more in that left glute, left hip. Slowly come out of this one vertebrae at a time until the crown is lifted straight ahead. Oh, take that left leg off first and then face the front of your mat, left leg is long, right so the foot comes to that left inner thigh. Inhale, reach the right hand up and over towards those left flex toes. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms, press through that right palm to lift the hips off. Reach that left hand towards the back of the room. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach the right hand over. Exhale, cartwheel, press through the palm, lift those hips, reach it up. Last time, inhale, reach, exhale, cartwheel and reach. Release the hips and then take that left sole of the foot to meet the right, coming into a little butterfly stretch. Inhale, crown long. As you exhale, keep pressing the outsides of the thighs towards the mat, hinge like a book and then start to round through the spine, releasing the chin towards the chest. Keep pressing the outsides of the thighs towards the earth. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time until the crown comes to meet the sky. Extend that right leg long, flex the toes, Left sole of the foot coming towards that right inner thigh. Inhale, reach that left arm towards those right toes. As you exhale, cart with our arm, press through the palms, lift those hips and reach that right arm. Inhale it down and reach. Exhale, cartwheel and push. One more time each side. This time, spin the heart towards the sky a little bit more. As you exhale, release it down. 
Extend the left leg long besides that right foot. Toes flex towards the chest, inhale it long. As you exhale, hinge like a book from the hips. Reach towards those toes, you may come nowhere close. Once you can hinge no more, start to round the spine, draw the chin towards the chest, and get that deep hip. Hip, hamstring opening. You can stay in this pose as long as you want, reaching through those heels, maybe even pressing the feet towards the chest, pulling with the hands to lengthen the spine and then release it down. Or you can start to come out of it, coming up one vertebrae at a time and then rolling all the way down, feet sliding, sliding and release great job inhale hug that right knee in towards the chest switch the left hand to the outside of that right leg and exhale just a little twist right arm goes long oh. reaching the inside of that right knee towards the earth with every inhale release that right shoulder down then on the exhale release the right inside of the knee towards the earth by just giving it a gentle press with that left hand. We're gonna be here for a few rounds of breath. So let's start to come back to our intention if it got away from you. And it was a simple one, listening to our bodies. It gives us signals all the time. Sometimes we put stuff in our bodies and our body says, nope, nope. No, 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 don't do that ever again, please. Here's a signal on why you shouldn't. And other times we do stuff and our bodies just love us for it. And this is one thing that I do to treat my body. So if you're treating your body and your mind, why not pay attention to it just a little bit more? Let's release that right knee, hug it in one more time. And switch sides, right leg goes long, hug the left knee in towards the chest, switch the right hand to the outside of the right leg, left arm goes long. As you exhale, little spinal twist, twisting from that belly. With every inhale, release that left shoulder down. With every exhale, give that right knee a gentle press through the right, left outer thigh a gentle press with the right hand. So inhale, left shoulder down, exhale, this knee comes down just a little and you could look wherever you want. If you're ever in a yoga class, at home or in a studio and an instructor tells you to do something a certain way, that's not permanent. That doesn't always have to be the way to do things. Try it out differently, find your way find what your body loves and sometimes an instructor will give you something and it'll be like oh my god I never thought about this this was amazing they'll give you an adjustment and it'll just be like heaven and then other times you kind of get stuck with doing it only one way try it try it out just play with the position of the belly button add a little more twisting take it down take it open it can be as simple as adjusting where the weight is in the foot. Let's release it. I've done enough talking today. <laughs> Inhale, hug it in. Draw the chin towards the chest. Make the body into a ball. One deep inhale. As you exhale, release the legs long. Release the arms long. Nice big stretch with the body. As you exhale, release the hands down. I'm keeping my hands in a field goal position because that is what my body is telling me to do for my final resting pose. Y'all take it wherever you want. Let those eyes close and soften. The space in between the eyebrows, let it relax. Let the jaw soften. Let the shoulders just melt. Find every vertebrae, relax, 
Feel the glutes sink towards the mat. Thighs resting heavily. Heels soft. Wiggle the toes. And then let all movement come to a stop, even in the mind space. Start to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes, finding some movement in the body. I feel like I could stay here forever, and you are welcome to. So, when you are ready, only when you are ready, roll over onto your most comfortable side. Keeping the eyes closed and soft, take the outside hand to guide yourself up to a seated and comfortable position. Hands coming to heart center on top of the knees. Eyes staying closed and soft. Let's do a scan of the entire body from the crown, to the throat, to the limbs, back to the heart, to the core, to the legs, to the toes, and back up again. If you feel any tension at all in any parts of your body, take a deep inhale to that space. As you exhale, feel it melt away. And just do that a couple more times. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing your practice with me. As always, it is an honor to share mine with you. Namaste. Have a great day, guys.